the shiny Kuchara here again. Um, my tip I'm going to be giving this time is how to do a circle lock technique. No. Now you do a circle lock technique the um, same way you do a quick catch, but you got to do a step in, uh, just before you actually toss the ball. So here's what we're going to do. We have a Kiram here, which should be a little harder to catch, which is why I chose this. And we'll give him a pine app. Pine app for extra candy. But I gotta warn you, right now, currently, if you use the nab, they've actually been upgraded, for lack of a better word, and they're not gonna help with the circle lock technique. So I'd recommend stay away from them. Because what the nabs do now is they they don't just slow it down for a little while. Based on the code, it says it will slow it down the whole time you're trying to catch it. So it won't be as much of an issue. Basically, one the nab will be better than 20 the nabs because it's not going to really matter as you can see I have 20 there right now but it's not going to really matter because one is enough but in this case we're going to do a pineapple because pineapple is the way you want to go my son's also over 40 so he wants to get those XL candies so and regular candy is always good too now circle lock technique what does that mean exactly you'll want to see you see this little thing called this that little red circle there that's the circle we're talking about now we've got to try to lock it to where I am saying where we need to lock it now as you can see I'm holding the ball down I'm just touching it right we're gonna put it right back down here because you never wanna, if you ever hold the ball and you're up, you bring it up here and then you lift your finger up, too many times, for me at least, the ball is just falling right down. So you missed it, it's, it was not cool. So you wanna kinda drag it right back down here if you ever need to reset yourself in any way, shape, or form. So anyway, let's actually do the circle lock now. We're gonna wait for it to get to a small enough area that we are happy with. I wanna try to aim for the excellence, that's why I'm gonna stop right there. Ah, and he just attacked. That's when you want to actually throw the ball as they attack during circle lock. Once you have your your circle locked in, just wait for it to attack. And right near the end of the animation is when you want to throw the ball. So you can do your normal curves that you normally do. Boom. Ah, I didn't get an excellent. Otherwise, I would show you another amazing thing about circle locks. If I had an excellent that last turn, all I would have to do now is give him a pineapple and wait for him to attack throw the ball and I would get yet another excellent. But unfortunately we didn't get an excellent the first time. So let's try to readjust the circle lock. If you touch the screen at any point while this is hap while it's not jumping, you reset the circle lock. So keep that in mind. There's my excellent. In a weird way, I hope he doesn't stay so I can show you what I'm talking about. Oh, I was gonna say. <laughs> One of the times we don't wanna actually catch it and it happens. So we attacked, but we just gave it a pineapple. We didn't touch anything else on the screen, that's important. Remember what I said about the circle lock? Excellent, again. So once you have that excellent, after you've done that first circle lock, every time you do another throw, as long as you don't touch the screen, other than getting it berries, or waiting for it to jump and attack, not jump, the jump sucks. <laughs> waiting for it to attack, you will always get that excellent. Ah. I released it. What I did is I held it a little too long. I don't know if you noticed that. I'm literally trying to do this in a way that I normally wouldn't be playing the game. So I am trying my best. But as you can see, the technique did work in those other areas. And finding your excellence, greats, and nices, there's something... I, I don't think I'll be the one to teach you that. <laughs> you can kind of look at what I'm doing and kind of figure it out, but unfortunately, that's just a skill that you're going to have to acquire and figure out. Nices are easy, greats are decent, excellence start to get really hard. So I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> Let's try to catch this one, alright? Stop talking, Randy. Let's do it. Come on. Now we play the waiting game. This is a part where I wish I could edit the video and you'd have to see this part. Didn't get the excellent again. Let's try to speed this up just a touch. No offense, bro. Sorry, Ty, but I want to get going. I'm sure people don't want to be watching this video all day. So we got a circle lock again. We held the ball down. Now we just do our waiting game. Oh, I got a great. For the method of this video, I'm actually going to probably, if I can keep it that way, I'm going to keep it as a great. Just so I can show you that I'm not lying about the, uh, <laughs> the idea of circle lock working. But if we don't catch it after this, I'm probably gonna end the video right there. Boom, like I said, there's that grade again. I wasn't lying to you. As long as you throw the ball before 
He is doing his animation. Ah, Critical Catch. That is the best. Who doesn't like Critical Catch? If you don't know what Critical Catch is, it's just a random RNG, random numbers generator deciding, hey, you got the ball. <laughs> no need to think too much about it. So there's that's my tip on that. I hope that really helped you out. Circle lock technique has been really helpful for me um, and finding out the, the idea that now that when you lock the circle in, as long as you don't touch the screen, you can get three excellence in a row. Like the research requires you to get that gibble, so that might be the best way to do it. Um, I really hope this one helped. I hope my last tip helped. Use these tips together and you'll be doing so much better in Pokemon Go. Happy hunting, everyone.